Hello, um, welcome here. I want to briefly talk about scheduler. Um, scheduler is that thing that kind of helps you run some task in the background. Um, some of you may be receiving email digest in ERP next. At some point, your system checks through some kind of process and inform users about how about sending out emails, periodical emails. How about checking users that have not paid for an invoice, then send them an email at every day at um, 6 a.m. stating that they have an invoice to pay. And some other things connected. How do you do that in the background? We have a tool in our app hooks, scheduler events. If you check through this hooks, um, scheduler events, uh, hooks, search for scheduler events, you'll find a list, a template already created for us. You have basics or default in the system. The scheduler event is kind of a dictionary with what a key value pair. The key, the value is kind of a list where you can have different functions attached, different functions attached to a particular event. The scheduler for well, these are the list you have. The first one is all daily. This all executes every four minutes, except specifically this defined in the site underscore configuration file to execute maybe 60 seconds. This daily executes every 24 hours, hourly, 60 minutes, weekly, seven days, and monthly on first of every month, I think at um, 12, or zero zero hundred every day. Then the parameter or the argument in a list is a dotted part to your a code. Okay, um, kind of the let me write small. Just show you a little framework on how to do that or a template in your app. You can create based on what the app has already defined for us. Now, asset app you can create a file called tax. Then define functions in there. We do not really have to follow this but it's kind of a good practice. I would define, create a file called task.py, okay? Um, task.py, seems I created this already, okay? And in the task.py, you create a function. We just want to create a little text function, call it define all, then the all will be attached to this estatehub.tax.all, mean that at every four minutes, our app in the background will automatically execute whichever function or codes that is written in this form. And for the weekly, whatever you write here will be executed weekly based on what we have here. You don't need to follow this naming convention. You can give it your own name. You can attach as many as possible and add it into this list. And it will execute for you. Say you want to send out emails, check system information and other things. That's just all about it for the scheduler. I won't be going deep into it because it can be easily, you know, learned or worked with. Thanks for watching. I hope you do enjoy it and learn a little thing from this.